makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand, could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me, yeah that's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you So today's video is going to be Hazlyn's six month update. I cannot believe she is six months old. I feel like I say this every single time, but I just cannot believe how quickly time is just flying by and how big she's getting so fast. Can't believe how fast she is growing. It is just insane. I feel like she was just in my belly. I feel like I was just sitting down to do like pregnancy updates and here I am doing her six month update which means she is half of a year old which is just insane i am so glad she is doing well and she's thriving and she's a happy sweet girl i'm um, just really doing well and um but it does still make me sad because i'm like oh i just want to bottle her up and then bottle up the these moments and just hang on to it forever uh but i just can't believe how quickly she is growing um Honestly, I can't believe how fast all my kids are growing. Before I get started, because I did not write this down, never done everything I wanted to tell you guys about her. One thing that we did was we got her ears pierced. She is so stinking cute with her ears pierced. Okay, so this is something we went back and forth about. Kyle was all for it. I was like, I don't know. Do I want to wait? And her doctor actually said she thinks it's better to get it done a little bit earlier just because she's not going to play with them. I can take care of them properly um, for her and then, you know, it'll heal, heal properly uh, being that she's only six months old. If I'm taking care of them and also um, we have some other reasons, but you know what? It's just something that we would decide to do. So please no hate. Everybody's different. Everybody decides differently. Um, but we did get her ears pierced. She looks so stinking cute. She cried way less for those than she does her vaccines. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. So, so you guys, Hazlyn is like the sweetest baby ever. She is so chill, down to earth, go with the flow. She's just such a good baby. She really is. And, um, I can't like complain. She is just, she, everyone says that everyone's like she's so good she's so good she just really is she's such a good baby I think because she just kind of has to go with the flow with whatever we're doing whatever's going on she just goes with the flow we got football we got t-ball we got you know all the sports we have um all these activities and different things going on with the kids she's our fourth baby so <laughs> she kind of has to go with the flow so I just pop her in a wrap or in my carrier and we're good to go I would say that she loves everybody but she loves the people she knows if she doesn't know you she gets a little bit sad when you try to hold her um sometimes or she'll just she won't get sad she'll just like look for me like she'll whip her head around see where mom is at because she is very attached to me which is so sweet i love it i can't say i'm mad about it um i Mama, is she awake she is yeah. no she's not um yeah so i can't say i'm mad about it because i think it's the sweetest thing ever that she just like it's funny, like somebody will hold her and she'll go, like, where's my mama? <laughs> I love it, it's so sweet. Okay, so the next thing is she is 26 and a half inches in the 70th percentile for her height and she is 16.13 pounds in the 60th percentile for her weight, for her um, age and for girls. And so she's eating good, she's doing good. She's growing on her curve, which is great. She has no teeth yet. I don't even see any popping through or anything. Um, 
Brantley got his first tooth at four months. Deacon was six months. Gunner was eight months. So who knows when she will get her first tooth, but she has no teeth yet. So we did try food for the very first time. She does not really like bananas yet. Um, I'm sure she will, but she doesn't like them too much yet. She does love watermelon and she loves applesauce, loves apples, loves applesauce, loves watermelon. Um, that's really all we've tried. We are doing baby lead weaning, which is um, something I did with Gunner actually. Um, and actually the pedi her pediatrician said that is actually what they recommend now is to do ba baby lead weaning versus like purees and cereals and things like that. So that is what I'm doing with her just because I feel like it's a lot easier to just I don't know I just I have a bunch of reasons on why I decided to do that but that is definitely something I'm gonna do with her um, she is pretty much primarily breastfeeding still um, we're basically trying foods um, but and I cut them up like in long pieces for her or I put them in like a feeder and she feeds herself um, but really she hasn't eaten too many foods yet and like I said we are doing the baby led weaning for multiple reasons and I think it's gonna benefit her in the long run and then we don't have to get into the whole puree thing um honestly Gunnar didn't even like purees he was just all against he just did not like him at all and um I wasted a lot of money <laughs> spending money on pureed packaged food um I mean I bought like organic or cold press and things like that but like I don't know I think it's better just to give him what we're eating so that's that's my opinion I think that's what's best for her and um in our family so that's what we're gonna do with her I can't wait to give her like have her try all these different things but I'm also like I don't know I feel like when you try new foods and you're also slowing down the breastfeeding and I don't want her to do that I just want to hold on to her forever like I don't know she's totally still a boob girl she nurses great for me she eats a lot all the time um, probably like every two three hours still she does um, but she doesn't nurse that much at all at night she is a very good sleeper um, I'll get into that in a second but yeah she's definitely more of a boob girl right now so he's in his in size three on his company diapers and she is in size um, six to nine month clothes she's definitely more on the nine month clothing size now just starting to get more into nine month clothing so for fall I bought her all nine month clothing um, that is definitely what fits her a lot better now. So she did have her very first fever. There was no other symptoms other than a fever. It was like about 100, 101, which scared the crap out of me. Um, Gunner, when he was about eight months old, was at our children's, was at CHOP, which is um, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. But yeah, Gunner was in CHOP, so that scared the crap out of me. Um, and so now I'm just like paranoid when my kids get sick especially when they're under a year old like that is just i'm just scared about that because i do not want to be we were in chop for a few days like four days um and it was just a super scary moment um so i'm definitely paranoid with germs um and sicknesses at such a young age because i do not want to be in the hospital again um that was very awful um and uh, yeah so anyway i was very scared praying non-stop and just like yeah I was terrified um, so she did have a fever but she didn't have any other symptoms so I actually didn't end up giving her any medicine or anything like that I wanted her body to fight the virus and obviously you get it when you get a fever that is your body um, trying to fight the, the virus and obviously if it got too high I would definitely have given her something I'm not against medicine However, I don't want to interfere with her body's natural um, ability to be able to fight off the virus. And so that's why I just didn't give her anything. Um, I didn't get that high. It actually kept going down. So it would be like 100, 101, back down to 100. And it was for like two days. And then that's it. It like went away and she had no other symptoms, like I said. So she was totally fine so anytime your kids are sick it is definitely very hard um as a parent as a mom um because it's scary you know you just never know you don't know how they're feeling especially when they can't tell you how they're feeling you can't tell you if anything's going on you really have no idea all you know is what the thermometer says and that's but that she had a fever you know I'm like I don't know if anything hurts I don't know how she's doing so I just breastfed her a ton I breastfed her through the night um and I used a lot of essential oils around here just to make sure everybody else stayed healthy so that she wouldn't get worse um and that's kind of just what I did um 
but yeah we're really big into essential oils and using um oils to support our immunity and also we drink um, ningxia and we take elderberries um just to kind of like help with help with everybody's immunity and stuff so so hazelin sits up great um by herself it was so crazy one day she was not sitting up at all the next day she was like sitting up um but she would fall over she kept falling over literally the following day she's sitting up not falling at all i don't it like happened so fast she went from like not sitting up to totally sitting up by herself in two days it was insane how quickly she did that um but she does she loves to sit there like with her toys and play and it's really nice to be able to just like plop her down and she watches her brothers and it's really fun so i am glad she's able to do that now it's really fun because she can sit there she can play with her toys and she really does enjoy that and she enjoys being able to sit and play with her brothers and they love that she can sit um they like to lay down next to her or sit with her and so it's really sweet and she also loves her jumpy she loves to jump in her jumper thing um she loves her little seat that we have we have like a little feeding seat for her where she sits in it like attaches to our counter um like our little island and she sits with the boys they sit in their stools and she sits in her little seat so it's so cute because they're all sitting there um lined up uh but anyway it's like so sweet to see them doing that and she really likes that thing and um, I love it. It's so cool because she's very entertained right there. She can watch me cook from there or she can hang out in the kitchen with me there. Um, but it's attached to the counter so it's not taking up any space, space, which is really cool. I love that thing. By the way, I have like a whole uh, Amazon shop if you guys didn't know. And um, that is like where I share a lot of products that you guys ask me about. So the seat is in there if you want to check it out. Um, no pressure or anything. I just have a lot of items um, linked in my Amazon shop that I recommend that we use and or that we have and um, Yeah, so if you guys are interested in checking that out, I definitely will leave a link in my description box so you guys can go um, Check out all the things we have and use um, from Amazon. Hazelyn, like I was saying before about her brothers Hazelyn loves her brothers so much and they love her so much. It is literally the sweetest thing I've ever seen um I've I've always just really enjoyed watching my children interact with each other and love on each other I think it's such a special thing um their bond is amazing and of course they fight like the older kids they fight the boys fight all the time um but um to see how much they love each other is just oh it melts my heart I could cry just talking about it because it is just the sweetest thing. I pray that as they get older, they just remain that close. It's such a sweet thing as a mom to see your children um, be like the best of friends. And like I said, they definitely do fight, but they are the best of friends and they love each other unconditionally. You can see it. They help out with her. They change diapers. I mean, I'm talking like pee poop. They'll change whatever. Um, they help her. They notice things and they help each other. Um, it's just a really sweet thing so i've never had um thankfully i've never really had an issue of like them not liking her even gunner my two-year-old he loves her so much he's like you're so pretty sissy i love you sissy um you're so cute um you're okay sissy like if she's like getting upset about something he's just they're just very lovey towards her and i just love it that's how they are with each other too um but like i said they definitely do fight the boys and i'm not saying they're not going to fight they definitely will fight i know that but as long as they just like make up and you know figure things that work it out then we're good so hazelyn loves her crib she loves sleeping in her crib she um sleeps in the dock a tot in there still i need to probably switch her out of that soon though she's starting to like turn sideways which is making me a little bit nervous so I think I am going to remove the dock -tot. I don't know how she's going to do with that. I'm like dreading it because she sleeps so good right now in that thing. She loves the dock -tot. She loves sleeping in her bed. She has a sound machine in there. I think because our house is just so loud and there's so much going on, she really can't sleep anywhere else. I don't blame her. Um, Gunner was the same way. It's just loud. You know, we have four kids. So that's like her space where she gets to go. She's not bothered. It's it's quiet and it's just like her space and i think she knows that like as soon as i put on she has like a zip up blanket as soon as i put that on she's ready she's ready for her nap she's ready for bed um and she sleeps pretty good so she's my 
only one that sleeps very good. The boys were not good sleepers at all. They did not sleep through the night until they were at least one years old. I don't even know, or one year old. She also loves being worn. She'll sleep in my like carrier. She likes the stroller. She doesn't really sleep in the stroller, but she loves the stroller. We go for walks every night. Um, she's no longer in her car seat in the stroller. She actually sits in her in the stroller um, And she likes that because she can look around she can watch the boys while they're riding their four-wheelers or dirt bikes and so she really enjoys that and um, But like I said, she does like being worn still She will take a nap in the in like my carrier if we're out or we're at like today We had a football games for Brantley. So and she did sleep in the carrier the other day we were at Costco and she slept in the carrier. So she will do that um, if I'm like holding her, but really she doesn't sleep anywhere else. I really never noticed her sleeping. We don't drive far enough for her to sleep in the car. Um, so yeah. But after our walks, when we get back from our walks, she is just ready for bed. Um, it's funny because I tried to put her down for a nap the one night because we were going somewhere I tried to put her down for a nap. She wanted no part of that I swear she knows she has to get her tubby and then she goes down for bed Like it doesn't work unless she gets her tubby and then she goes gets her blanket thing on and like we zip it up And then she goes to bed that way like she knows it's so funny I'll be like you ready to get your tubby every night. I say that to her you want to get your tubby and She gets so excited. Yeah, it's like she knows I mean babies Babies are smart. They, when they develop a routine, they, they know that and they are so smart and she definitely, you can tell she definitely knows what's coming next. Um, tubby, lotion, read, bed, she knows. Like I was telling you guys earlier, she is really good with people she knows. She loves when the boys are around. She smiles at them, loves them. Kyle, my mom, like, Anybody she knows, she is great with, but if she doesn't know you, she does get kind of funny. I don't remember the boys doing that this early. I feel like she's kind of early for that, but maybe not. I don't know, maybe they just didn't get like that this early. Gunner really never was that way. He went to anybody, but yeah, she's definitely um, more, like she looks around, she wants to see what's going on, who, who has her. If she doesn't know you, she kind of gets upset. She has um definitely like cried um when other people hold her and it's funny because she really never cries and that's the other thing i wanted to tell you guys is that she really hardly ever cries she'll like whimper like i don't know she'll make this noise um and you can tell she's like not happy or fussy like i don't even want to say she's fussing because she's hardly getting upset and kyle's like really that's her fussing really that's her getting upset and like it is she doesn't cry like she doesn't get like that but you can tell when she's past her limit do you know what i mean um so like an hour past her bedtime the other night you could tell like she just wanted me to hold her my sister-in-law i think was holding her and she could tell she was just ready 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 but she's very good she just goes with the flow so she's like okay i guess i'm not going to bed yet the second i got her she was like getting very fussy ready for bed like started to get like you could just tell but with my sister-in-law she wasn't acting that that way but i could tell that she was getting tired i don't know how to explain it but she hardly ever cries she's just so good she'll just put up with it until she, we put her to bed like she's just so chill and go with the flow like i was saying one thing about her though is that she puts everything in her mouth um everything goes in her mouth and yeah I don't know everything goes in her mouth so we have to be very careful with that now because she is grabbing everything pulling everything putting everything towards her mouth she grabs my bracelet she'll grab my necklace she'll grab my earrings even these little earrings even these little baby hairs back here like if my hair's in the back she will find something she'll find something to grab on and it hurts she's like very aggressive actually she'll like grab onto my face and like oh she'll she'll just like grab it and then she'll go I was like she's giving me a kiss but she'll she's just very aggressive when it comes to that especially when she's tired or hungry she will just grab onto me and just like open up her mouth um or like nuzzle her head like in my chest so even kenzie's hair she'll pull but thankfully kenzie kenzie's our dog kenzie is very good with her so that's good um and then the last thing i want to tell you guys is that her hair is still the same color it's pretty brown um she really doesn't have that much of it her eye color is changing um it's definitely more of like a green hazel color um it's not brown at all there's no brown in her eyes they're like a blue gray green 
Um, so I don't know what color they end up being, but that's what they are right now. So they've definitely changed. Um, my doctor seems to think they're going to be hazel, or her doctor thinks they're going to be hazel, which is funny. Um, people sometimes will call her Hazel Lynn, but it's not. It's Haze Lynn. So we took Haze from, and we were going to spell it H A I S. Um, but we changed it to H-A-Z-E because Hazelin spelled the way we spelled it means um, come from heaven. So we did that, but H-A-I-S was the original way of how we were going to spell it. And it's actually Hazelin, not Hazelin. Um, it's Hayes and then Lynn. Lynn came from me because I'm Samantha Lynn. That's my middle name. And so we put my middle name with her, with Hayes. And so that's how she got Hazelin. But anyway, it still would be funny if she had hazel eyes because gunners, gunners are like a light brown, Brantleys are definitely a dark brown, and Deacons are bright blue. So we'll see what she has. Like I said, she is just the sweetest girl. I am so blessed by her, and she brings so much joy to our family. We are so lucky to have her. I am so thankful that God gave her to us, and um, I thought I would be fine with all boys, but I can see what he was doing when he gave me her because she has just changed our whole family dynamic, and... Um, it really has brought something special into all of us. So I am just so grateful for her. She is such a little sweetheart and we adore her so much. So anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed her little update here. And I'm so lucky to have these videos so that I can look back and have these memories um, forever. So anyway, I will see you guys in my next one. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Life, you are